Hello, this is Oliver Blair from Mass University and in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to export data from coordinates.com which is a web service that has a whole bunch of Wellington specific data as well as um, some other areas in New Zealand and, and around the world as well. So let's take a look, it's, it's coordinates.com with a K it's spelled exactly like that K-O-O-R-D-I-N-A-T-E-S dot com and what you need to do is um, you sort of need to sign up for it so you need to create an account and that will let you download stuff but you can have a look and um, see all the data available without creating an account so let's have a look over here on the left there's a sort of um, a menu system if we go browse data then there's a whole bunch of categories and uh, regions as well so if we go by category you can sort of see here aerial photographs, blah, 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 science and environment. There's a whole bunch of different stuff. You can sort of see all the different data sets available in those different categories as well. So there's a bunch of different ways to look for stuff. Uh, one way is sort of looking through all the different categories. You can sort of get a sense for what's available. Another idea is um, uh, looking for a search. So let's go uh, buildings. And you can sort of see here there's building footprints in some other country and there's also Wellington here as well and it should also say 3D somewhere but let's just have a look so to add it to the layer to the preview over here you just press on that plus and you can actually add multiple um, layers so let's add the city corrosion layer as well and you can sort of see it shows up here in our sort of layer menu here that the corrosion zone will be red and the city building footprints of blue. So if we zoom in, pretty cool, you can sort of see that red in the blue and it won't let you download the whole thing because um, there's too much data going on, there's too much to um, download all at once. There's like a hundred megabyte cap for free. So what you want to do is crop that area. So there's a couple tools up here, one is, is this crop. And so you just pick the area that you want, say I want the CBD and then you can go download or order and what we want is um, not GIS but we want the DWG because then we can import it into SketchUp Pro or Vectorworks or Revit or Rhino or a whole bunch of different uh, 3D modeling programs so yeah and then you just click on accept terms and that will download a zip file that you can then unpack and load into your favorite 3D modeling program. Cool. Thanks very much. See you next time.